Here we are at Vintage Flipper World, the Ann Arbor Pinball Museum, for yet another episode of Games I Should Have Never Bought! And yet another episode of Silly Games I Should Have Never Bought. We got ourselves a 1969 Chicago Coin Speedway. Now, I can remember when I was a wee tyke growing up in the 70s, seeing this game a lot. And the reason why I saw it a lot is because it was very popular and it made a crap load of money for the operators. And the reason that it did that is because it was really the first electromechanical driving game that was somewhat realistic. Instead of driving some sort of little car through uh, a, a round drum maze, this one actually felt like you were actually driving like in a simulator, almost like a video game, of course, well before video games. Now, this game was so popular that there was a bunch of copies. More or less, they made this game continually in some form or another from 1969 to 1974. By 1975, video games were starting to come out, and this game was obviously obsolete. But they made Speedway in 69, they made Chicago Coin Motorcycle in 1970, and then they made uh, Motorcycle again in 1974, and there was actually two versions of this game, the A and the B version. This is the B version, the more modern one as it may be. The A version had a more bluish cabinet. Zoom, 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 zoom. Here's the back, the upper part of the back, and you can see... This one talks about how it's a Model B. Um, there's just some slight differences other than aesthetics. But the main thing is, is that's really cool about this game is the sound system. So in 1969, they didn't really have electronic sound boards in uh, arcade games. But what they did is they did a lot of mechanical sounds. And here is an amplifier with a volume and a tone pot that is accessible through this side door. And then you've got this nifty little thing. This motor actually controls these plates that are the cars. And then this is your car, the red car here that moves around. But what's neat is they have a little relay coil here and a magnet there and then spokes of a wheel almost so that when this motor speeds up and speeds down, this coil goes through to this amplifier that amplifies it and varies the sound and makes it sound like a motor. That is really cool. But notice that there's two RCA jacks here. This one is for the spokes uh, or the motor uh, sound. And then this one is for the crash sound. Now the crash sound I have disconnected and removed from the game and I'm gonna show you why in just a hot second. But the crash sound is very unique in how it was done again to get a car crash sound without using really any electronics. Zoom, zoom down the speedway. Here we are on the bench and this is the mechanical car crash sound. What we have here is a piece of copper. Hear that noise? So originally there was a phonograph needle right here and here is the original phonograph needle that is actually broken. And if you look right here, it says LP. And on the other side, it says 78. So it was a mono photograph needle that rested against this. Uh, the needle actually rested against this copper plate. And then this, basically a knocker coil would go up like this and kick, kick the plate, which would vibrate. And the photograph needle was connected to these two wires and mounted here would pick up that crash sound. It's a pretty neat way to get a crash sound, but unfortunately um, it's not really loud enough um, and it's barely noticeable because the steering wheel has this huge recoil uh, sound that when you crash the car, when you're driving, you get three large bangs that far outweigh any noise that this hokey thing generated. But I have come up with a solution that if this isn't working for you, that you can implement with an MP3 player. Now, note, I, I actually bought some stylus cartridges on Amazon because this one was shot. It's open. Um, and 
I actually got this to work uh, with this apparatus. But again, it's just not loud enough and it sounds really weird. It, it, it barely sounds like a car crash. It's terrible. So let's come up with a better solution. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, hit the gas to the floor in the back of the game. And here you can see my solution to that car crash sound. So what I've done is I've implemented a tiny little MP3 player. I bought this for like five bucks on Amazon. It has four meg of memory on it. And what I did is I took the 1974 Chicago Coin motorcycle, which has an ambulance crash sound, an electronic sound, recorded it, converted it to an MP3, put a little car crash sound in front of that, and then programmed it on this MP3 player. Now I am using the six volt AC general illumination that comes into this bridge rectifier with a filter cap, and I have a little digital display. And then here is my accident relay. I put a couple wires on that over to this Williams relay coil that has a single switch on it that turns the power to this little board on and off. And I can demonstrate the sound just by holding this in, this relay in, it'll turn the power on, and you can hear my added sound. Okay, and then when the uh, uh, accident relay releases, the soundboard goes off. So you get in an accident, comes on. Accident over, goes off. So it was a nice solution to that mechanical hot mess down here um, to come up with a crash sound and adding the ambulance sound that was in the later uh, motorcycle version. And I think it really adds a lot to the game. Put the computer... And if you want some more information on the Speedway, including um, the MP3 files and how to install them on your Speedway, you can go to my website at pinrepair.com slash arcade slash cspeed.htm and you can download the, uh, the files uh, and it discusses how to implement the MP3 player. Talk about a goofy car race game. Holy crap, look at this thing. Man! It's a timed game, and you want to stay uh, moving, and while you're moving, you get 10 points for every second that you're on the track. Um, you start out at seventh position, you're trying to get to first position, but to be honest with you, this is irrelevant. Um, standby happens when you get in an accident. Start is green, meaning that you're scoring points, you want to try and beat the high score. In this case, it's 710 points. If you do that, within the allotted time, you essentially get a whole nother game. So you can effectively double your score. But passing cars is kind of irrelevant, to be honest with you. The most important thing is don't get in accidents. And this position, kind of irrelevant too. It's just a tease. Now, I'm going to take this glass out, uh, and hopefully the game will show better with the glass out so that you can see more while I play without reflection. I'm gonna hit the start button. You gotta kinda get on the gas a little bit and try not to get in an accident. Again, passing isn't always a, isn't always a good idea. But I love to pass. Oh, bloody hell. You don't want to pass. You have to really feather the gas pedal. Oh, God. All right, come on. Two cars come, then you like to pass. Yeah. There's no real reason to pass, but it just... I like it. I don't know. Call me crazy. Come on. I'm not going to get the high score. Perfect game to get a high score and get the and it's a free game to double your time. All right, two cars pass. Yay! All right, let's see, two cars pass. Yay! Yay! One car. Oh, I got it from behind. Ooh, that hurt. If they 
they pegged me from behind. All right, just a few more seconds left, and I'm at 450 points. All right, game over. I got 470 points, which is not that good. That's the Chicago Coin Speedway. Now let's go take a glimpse of the 1974 motorcycle, which was like the last incarnation of these uh, EM driving games by Chicago Coin before the whole industry transitioned to video games. This is the 1974 Chicago Coin motorcycle. This game was released in 1970 also with a slightly different cabinet style and a different side color. Um, it has a nifty little fan right here that blows in your face while you're uh, playing, giving you the feel of a motorcycle. The header is different in the 1974. It's hard to see, but it's kind of three-dimensional. It's like those uh, trading cards you used to get with bubble gum in them at the, uh, at the cigar stores. But this is a really cool game in an upgrade to the Speedway and the earlier motorcycle, though it is essentially the same game, but they used electronic sound for this game. That is, all the sound is electronic using a, a soundboard, opposed to the mechanical amplified sound of the other games. Yo, we're the Canyon Snake Rider Motorcycle Gang. You don't mess with us. Let's, uh, let's give it a whirl. Let's go, let's go motorcycle racing! Now notice when I get in an accident, he, my guy falls over. Ha! Look at that. And I get, and there's the ambulance sound that was not in Speedway, except for mine where I added it. But this is where I recorded it from. But same deal, I'm gonna pass after these guys. I'm going for the pass! Oh, and I clipped my leg on his, uh, on his butt. Here we go, I got oh bloody hell I ran into him. Alright, here's the two guys. Pass, pass! Around him I go. No reason to pass, it's just fun. Pass, pass! Woo! 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 I gotta kill these guys! I got two guys who gotta try and pass. Come on, baby! Oh, uh, maybe not. Am I gonna pass? Oh bloody hell. Running in everybody. Oh, go, go, go! And then it was butt! Oh my god. I suck. Wow. Uh, anyways, I did pretty well though. I really did. That's the motorcycle compared to the Speedway. Again, I, I like the motorcycle a little better. Um, it, it just seems more controllable to me, but. You can play the um, the car, the Speedway version, at the Ann Arbor Pinball Museum when we have our show first weekend in May. Hey, you guys, I, I really do appreciate you watching my stupid videos. It, it, it does mean a lot to me. Thanks, man. All right, turn it off. Thanks. Cut. Cut. Cut.